Fellow citizens, there's been a lot going on this week and uh, I wanted to take a few minutes to provide some additional updates from the community on uh, what has occurred recently and what will take place in the near future. On Tuesday, May 5th, I joined a call with downtown state college businesses to discuss reopening in the yellow phase. During this call, borough officials were able to answer questions about how to safely open businesses while also preventing COVID-19 spread. If you notice a business not following the safety guidance by the Department of Health, please contact the non-emergency number at the borough at 814-234-7150. Please support our local businesses. During the, uh, the lockdown, uh, our businesses participated, followed all the rules and regulations in exemplary fashion, and that was not true everywhere. So I urge you to now that the uh, shelter-in-place order has been removed for our area to go out and support your local businesses. As we move to Yellow, we anticipate that a number of students will be returning to move out of their apartments and homes. I know there's a lot of anxiety about this. To ensure that this is done safely, we have sent guidance to students and landlords, and the university has also sent guidance out. Student leadership has contacted uh, seniors to ensure that they consider all residents when they are returning. Now we're going to continue to monitor this situation to ensure these students returning will not put the community at risk. Penn State will also have move out from the dormitories. Now that will take place over the next few months and it will take place entirely by appointment. The university has uh, put together a uh, a good plan to control and to carry this out and uh, I would uh, uh, I think you'll be uh, you'll see that the impact of a large number of students returning has will not have a major negative impact on the community. We have also placed roll-off dumpsters throughout the community to assist with student move out. This is done annually when students are leaving town because of the benefits it provides to the borough operations and our residents, including cost avoidance, injury reduction, containment of refuse, and now, of course, added to that to avoid COVID-19 exposure risks for our workers. Staff have worked regionally with surrounding townships and the Center Region Code Administration to develop additional safety regulations for local construction projects. All active projects will have to sign off on these additional regulations before continuing. Now this is again done to ensure, the to ensure that, uh, that COVID-19 does not spread. So let us know if you see construction crews not abiding by safety regulations. And you can use the non-emergency number that I uh, gave you uh, earlier on in this video. Now, as we move to Yellow, the Center Region Parks and Recreation have reopened some park facilities. However, programming and rentals are still suspended for the foreseeable future. And there'll be more information about these changes on our website. But I would, I would uh, want to say that uh, although Center uh, Region Parks and Recreation has opened uh, basketball courts, basketball courts continue to remain closed in the borough park. Now, the state has been busy, obviously, recently as well, with a lot of things that I think are, are good. Governor Tom Wolf was joined by Attorney General Josh Shapiro this past week to announce that he signed an executive order that protects Pennsylvanians from foreclosures or evictions through July 10th. Now, this is really important, as our community, as you know, has... Uh, had some concerns about this, and we are a community with an enormous number of, of renters. Uh, uh, I, this is an extension by the governor, by the way, of an earlier order by the uh, Supreme Court of Pennsylvania. The Commonwealth has, uh, is also allowing now self-employed persons, so-called gig workers, individuals, uh, in, uh, in, in, employers, individuals, not employers, but individuals, and others to file for backdated pandemic unemployment assistance. 
And more information about this can be found on our website at www.statecollegepa.us backslash coronavirus. The Commonwealth has decided to create what they're calling the Commonwealth COVID Relief Corps uh, by hiring thousands of individuals throughout Pennsylvania uh, to uh, carry out contact testing. Uh, anyone interested in this, someone looking for work, anyone you know who may be looking for employment should get in touch with the Pennsylvania Department of Health. On Monday, May 11th, State College Borough Public Works Department resumed normal bulk and brush collections. Now, this service was previously changed due to the COVID-19 pandemic. All staff will be wearing proper personal protection equipment, so-called PPE, during collections. If someone in your household is in COVID-19 related quarantine, please hold materials at least one week before placing them out for collection. And all questions can be directed to the Public Works Department of the Borough at 814-234-7140. Recently the Borough sent out a media release asking you to join us in our nationwide advocacy effort around the specific economic impact of the virus to college and university towns, and also how, in related to that, also how the pandemic has greatly impacted the census operations. Now, you can help us out by sending personalized letters to U.S. House and Senate representatives by going to https colon backslash backslash nlc.quorum.us backslash campaign backslash 25995 backslash. I know that was a long one, so I'm going to repeat it. HTTPS colon backslash backslash nlc.quorum.us backslash campaign backslash 25995 backslash or you can contact us at engage at statecollegepa.us. Uh, Penn State is also involved in this effort and shortly President Barron and I will be sending a letter to our, our representatives urging them to support us in these matters. I also want to remind uh, everyone in a related matter that you still need to complete the census and you can do so via mail, phone, or online. This impacts the appropriation of billions of dollars of federal funding, redistricting, and others for the next decade. By taking the census now, you help us out for the next 10 years. If you have any questions about the census, and again, please contest, contact us at engage at State College PA. US. Finally, uh, more good news. Penn State Health, Geisinger, and Mount Nittany are in the process of moving to normal operations. As you know, many, uh, of, many of the elected surgeries and so uh, other uh, medical uh, matters have been postponed during the coronavirus so that the full uh, capacity of the medical system could be turned toward dealing with the virus. That is now being uh, relaxed a bit, so if uh, any of you are uh, uh, waiting around to do these kinds, have these kinds of uh, uh, procedures, please contact your doctor. Finally, for all local updates, please continue to visit www.statecollegepa.us backslash coronavirus. Thank you for watching and uh, stay safe.